How is it going NASCAR geeks out here and welcome back to NASCAR 16 AI Racing in Talladega and we're back in overcast day for over for this one and yesterday for about for many days or four days ago because we actually made for the first time for this literally gonna be training for some Talladega Heights for some many more reasons as we gonna be going to do as when I just gonna be further we have to say we have camera modes out here and before that doesn't despite seeing like these cars are just gonna be going to battle up for itself even we're gonna be going for brace yourself even though so the cars are just even to ruin ourselves is gonna be one course and looks like we're gonna be going to spawn the number 22 and it looks like we're going to be trying to restart and against their cars are officially disabled or exactly this is going to be going away. So it is time to use the number 22. Looks like this is going to be using for the Logano style and let's just going to be going for a restart. And let's just do for a very first time in about for a battle training starting in last place. To first place while it's gonna be very impossible to finish at eight laps so we got for available tools is smoke flip around here lock camera and some kind of spring of gravity coil and looks like click teleport is absolutely pretty legal to go around everywhere as well you can use the teleport for click teleport to get on the grandstands and just gonna be going to spectate without going to race for even some kind of for the shenanigans out here and because they are absolutely racing about here so let's just literally gonna be going to spawn all the cars and get ready to race and until the green flag shortly starts all the way down here now looks like the cars are just gonna be oh they started to wreck it up in the first lap now absolutely there must be a going on a yellow flag out here and because looks like the pole position is going to be by far ahead. Now it's completely very hard to draft. That exactly hit the wall and disables the gripness. So I suggest I'm going to be using the gravity coal around here. And probably 200 miles per hour is going to be only one priority. 207 miles an hour. That doesn't draft for so much. And if you know how that is going to be going on for this thing. So actually this is going to be going for our drift skills. And it does not to reach about for 200 miles an hour while going on bump drift. I'm on 7th place even on lap number 2. How impossible is going to be reaching all the way down into 8 laps of this self. To 207 miles an hour and I cannot able to get things straight to get up to speed and looks like there must be a car upside down because it looks like there must be a yellow flag the caution flag is out and before that wasn't gonna be going around here I don't really think this is gonna be a full course caution all the way out here now this isn't gonna be very necessary to do so even before it is actually going to be trying to hit the wall as hard as you can before disable steering or disable gripness at about the car so this is absolutely going to be various yellow flag is going to be going on out here so staying out for just literally itself we're going to be making of this video next time but probably we're going to be filming some video for itself or to do like this one and probably the NASCAR exhaust sounds or the engine sounds like oh dear there must be gonna be a, a various caution around here I'm in sixth place and uh, probably we should head back into the pits and finally restart into our second position the battle for the pole position isn't gonna be making much necessary as looks like the best thing is gonna be to go down but looks like we came here into the pits and the fuel and tires were disabled in never gonna be come into one today for just gonna be going around here now I'm gonna be making sure let's just restart one time 
and we're going to be doing for about for the 8 lap race. So restart and we're going to be making absolutely to get right here to the 4th position to 5th position as anyways. Now it looks like we're going to be having a 3 wide battle as we're going to be making out straight for many more reasons that doesn't going to be no matter how it's going to be trying to blast all the way to 210 miles an hour just like Jackson Storm and probably that doesn't going to be in range of the draft system so probably the draft system doesn't even matter how this is going to be going away almost trouble in turn number four Cowbush is literally crushed out of the race. Probably there must be another caution flag because of this extremely lag as well. We got our red flag out here so we suggest we might be able to get back into the pits. Because you know how matters is not going to be making such as a very cast idea as we're not on the green is taking for a very long time but Kyle Busch is in the last place something is absolutely going to be very gone wrong and it's probably nothing is going to be making for very ways and no draft enabled is going to be making all the way for down here exactly he's even drafting for a very much now let's just even restart for one time another time of restart it looks like the number 18 right over here and he's out of the race but he just bugged out or something and because he's just literally gonna be playing inside of the wrong game now let's just gonna be resetting again and probably let's just suggest let's gonna be going out here for the first place Cowboys is gonna be starting over here because this is where what happens that Cowboys was started to reckon each other if he froze and there is nothing that we're gonna be having for around here so we're in lap number five that only one thing is gonna be making sure it's very stressful around here so the number two Brad Kalowski is trying to lead itself away so I really think it's him over there up right here in, in some kind of drafting selection but looks like we're gonna be drafting itself alone but unfortunately it does work but probably it's gonna be taking for a while for many much as this time because he just drafted all the way for down itself to do it once and because it looks like we're just gonna be trying to catching itself for the lead there's no three wides around for himself or NASCAR vehicles as well. Bump drafting to the pole position is going to be making a little bit far and he's on the back straight. I'm probably not sure this guy is going to be making so serious moves around here before itself is going to be making a wide turn and probably this isn't going to be going around for just thing around to do. So all you have to do is going to be make things a little bit hard and he's drafting himself. I really don't think he's too fast to me and he's nothing whatever we try to do is going to be going for finish. So looks like we're just going to be trying to take the lead itself. What about for a training to take the pole position? Is he going to be working as well? Oh dear, this is some kind of hard to overtake. And no draftings is enabled around here. So here's why it's absolutely enabled back. And it's gonna be taking around for here for just like it's impossible to get around here. And we just literally almost hit the wall and that is not gonna be disabled around for these balls. Except for the long straight about for the restrictions. Now I cannot believe he was unstoppable. The drafts disabled around here. And what about Kyle Bush? He's on three wide. And because it's not going to be on three. This is not three wide as well. Three long. And probably is going to be going on to down straight. 
Oh wow, Brandon Kalaspi is all. We got trouble in turn two. Looks like that possibly that is the worst thing that we cannot be able to see for right here for just the funny moments. Drafting with Kyle Bush is going to be going around here. Exactly, is going to be taken around for the lead for so much. And I'm probably not very sure there's going to be drafting for very much like this one. And I'm not sure every NASCAR driver is swerving over here. And Kyle Bush is going to be almost took the pole position around him. And looks like this isn't going to be very safe around here because we got two laps remaining of this race. And we're probably not sure that Kyle Busch is going to be taking out Joy Logano. Oh, we got collide one car and causing for this able around for the steerings or mechanism or a grip mechanism for about for this time. So it looks like avoid that car. And I'm just going to be going for a lucky trick. Probably there must be going to be more NASCAR vehicles to go. It looks like it's going to be Cobbos taking the win and not taking the pole position as well. So looks like that doesn't matter. So it's going to be going as well. Unfortunately, this is going to be harder to win itself. That isn't going to be making so easy to do so. I don't really think this is really hard to make things out. So. This game onto this NASCAR game on NASCAR 16 is going to be harder. So the white flag has just dropped off already. Disabled NASCARs as well. And I'm not very sure that we're going to be going to took the pole position around the lead. Oh dear, we have been disabled. The steering is just once again. And probably not. What actually is going to be losing around here. Try not to avoid these cars. And looks like Kyle Busch has got to win. He's got to win. But probably I started to get this able around here. Collide the vehicle. It looks like I have almost disabled around the steering. And looks like we're just going to be tipped around the pole position. And managed to win himself. Oh dear, Kyle Busch wins. Right there on the course. But looks like... I have making matters things as worse as well. Taken out by Kyle Busch. And looks like this is probably... I didn't win for this time. The first training is complete around Talladega. I think training around Talladega is about for many of these things as well, probably. I make sure I'm just able to go back into the pits and try to end up this video. But probably this is absolutely, literally extremely hard or impossible to draft around here because unfortunately the draft power isn't gonna work as well even like I say that doesn't matter to get around here and because it looks like despite seeing about these things as well let's get right back into the pits and we'll end of this video for sure and because we're still keeping on racing for just about here and we just gonna be trying to keep on training for this one so if you enjoyed about for this video but actually if you're a NASCAR fan leave a like and subscribe and click that bell and probably the game is linked in the description down below so the races absolutely already start around for the AI racing this is Turbo Concept is gonna be signing off for sure in the flash out here and I'm gonna be seeing NASCAR fans and parfait viewers especially NASCAR geeks out here and mini lads all later.